Hello everybody, Minstorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the German Empire. In the last episode, we kind of backed off a little bit. I was planning on trying to work on the UK, declaring war on a few more nations, but um, the UK launched a massive invasion of the British Empire and was able to force them to capitulate, which basically ended the war against the... Uh, Novus Imperium Romanum. We went into peace conference, and I went ahead and cleared the, the peace conference. Now, again, I am using the player control peace conference, and I kind of understand that it is a little bit cheaty in some ways because you know it lets the player have total control over how the peace conference progresses, which is why I always try to. Um, have a peace conference result that makes the most sense from what actually happened during the war. You know, basically from the point of view that if these nations actually did have a peace conference at the end of this war, how would things potentially shake out? Um, and the reason why I really do that is because it just avoids some of the ridiculous border gore that occurs in the actual like, randomized peace conference, um, where you have all kinds of strangeness going on. Um, where you might potentially have France taking chunks of Turkey, which wouldn't make any sense because occupied by the Soviet Union, there's no way the Soviet Union would have ever agreed to yield the territory that it had, um, occupied, that sort of stuff. So... That is my thinking there, and why I continue to use that mod um, as you know for, for my series. Now, obviously, I have made some adjustments since the end of that episode. I did go in and kind of clean things up even more. Um, I had Romania, Bulgaria, and Turkey made puppet states of the Soviet Union. So those guys are all puppet states there. Because that's the actual territory that the Soviets occupied during the war. And that I had uh, the UK release Italy as a democracy. It currently is a puppet state. And I had the UK retain direct control over the former Italian colonies in Libya and Ethiopia. So, I think that makes the most sense from the war perspective. And yeah, we have our puppet state there in northern Italy. Uh, we don't really know how much that's really going to be able to do, but, you know, you never know. It might be able to help. It should have some resources. It has some aluminum. It has a pretty decent amount of steel, so they should be providing that to me. So we'll see how it goes. We are currently still working on our focus to get a war goal, which we're going to be taking out the Benelux. We're going to be absorbing that, and then we'll see how things go from there. So, let's go ahead and pause it and get it moving. Now... Games of the 12th Olympiad. The 12th Olympic Games were recently held in Tokyo, Japan. In light of rising international tensions, many fear the games would be cancelled. But this has proven to not to be the case. Tokyo is the first non-Western city to host the Olympics. And a special purpose-built ME261 long-range aircraft carried the Olympic flame there from Germany without refueling. Do I actually have those? Japanese athletes did well, and their 14 gold medals earned them a third place in the medal count after Germany and the United States. All right, Align Romania is bypassed, okay. Austria-Hungary is justifying a war goal against Yugoslavia, and I absolutely anticipated that that was going to happen because they have core territory down there. So, they are almost certainly going to do that. 
All right, everybody's armies are shifting around. All right, there's our improved infantry equipment. ME261. There's the ME264. It's not 43 yet. We could go with this. We're working on the Panzer IVs. The Leopard... Not a bad idea. Actually, we're gonna get the Elephant. Which is interesting, but yeah, okay. Panzer Jager Tiger P, yeah. Alright, Special Forces. The Democratic Republic of Afghanistan joined the common turn. Okay. Let's get those Panzer Fausts. I guess that sort of does make sense. As a heavy tank destroyer, because it was built on the Tiger P chassis, which was Porsche's design uh, submitted for that heavy tank competition. And when it didn't win, they took the hulls, the 80 some odd hulls that they had built, and converted them into heavy tank destroyers called the Ferdinand initially and then I think after they were um, kind of modified and refit a bit then they kind of were designated the elephant man France is putting their entire army there isn't aren't they The independence of Yugoslavia is guaranteed by France and the Netherlands. Oh. Uh, West Wall. The Netherlands is guaranteeing the independence of Yugoslavia. Dutch East Indies. Alright, let's just make sure that this is not going to get me into something I don't want to be a part of. Improving its diplomatic relations, visited by foreign diplomatic envoys. Okay. We have available war goals against Belgium. Take Rwanda and Burundi from Belgium. Take Southwest Africa from Nationalist South Africa. Interesting. Well, if we take this from Belgium, that would give us a port, a potential staging area down there. Interesting. All right. 
Well, declare war on Belgium. Do I want to call my allies? No. I don't think so. Do it. Go and go. Come on, Netherlands. Your ally is under attack. Port some fuel again. Luxembourg has joined Belgium. There's our tiger, um, elephants. I want to actually make some of those. Maybe, maybe not quite that much, but we do want to make some of those. Tigers, there they are. We need some rubber and some chromium. All right, Brit British Malaya. Let's get some from there, and the chromium. We're gonna go ahead and get that from Turkey. Mechanized support equipment. Let's fill out the support equipment. Don't call the Dutch to arms, then I will have to justify against them nor uh, normally. What else was an issue? Mechanized. Then new war participant. All right, there we go. Let's get the assembly line production going. All right, everybody else. Begin their assault. Belgium is capitulated. Perfect. Los, los, los. All right, 
right, continue that effort. Let's continue this effort. Luxembourg is down. Great news. No. Austria hungry. You stay out of this. We need 48 rubber. Well, yeah, because, you know, they're they're now at war with us, so of course they're not gonna send us rubber. Inventory equipment. I guess we can get that back up to, you know, full set. 15 there. Hopefully I'm not going to have to actually invade the dusty the Dutch East Indies. I don't think so. Is there a subject state? They should go when when the Dutch go. Denmark joins the European Union. Earlier today, the Netherlands and Denmark issued a joint statement that the latter has now been formally granted member status of the European Union. Whether this partnership will be of use, use for offensive or defensive purposes remain to be seen, but undoubtedly. Extensive joint military planning is already underway. Norway joins. Switzerland joins. Sweden joins? Wah, 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 wah? Okay. Ihre Befehle! Uh, you guys break off and get to the Dutch border as fast as possible. The European Union forms. The Netherlands is called Nor Norway in. Is Sweden in here? In there? Indeed it is. Well. That has taken a rather interesting turn. Yep, they've called in Sweden. We lost some transports. When are our battleships going to be done? The Bismarck and the Tirpitz are going to be done very soon. A little more than a month. Well, about two months. All right, good. Oh, yeah, I need to get a new destroyer design out. Oh, the Dutch East Indies are not going to be part of this. Just Luxembourg, Belgium, and Netherlands. Interesting. Take all states. Take all states. Take all states. And take all states. Uh, satellite the Dutch East Indies. Apparently I don't have enough to do that. There we go. So they become our puppet now. Cool. Done. All right, European Union. The Danes have not been called in. Let's get my armor to that border. Uh, 
I have full control of these seas. Uh, Schlieffen once more, okay. Austria-Hungary has joined the German East Indies as our ally in the Indonesian-Norwegian War. Okay. Why are there French troops in Austria-Hungary? Why are there Japanese troops in Austria-Hungary? Are they giving them military access? They must be giving them military access. We sunk six Norwegian destroyers. I'll take it. We sunk a Norwegian submarine. Two Norwegian submarines, a How many countries have this color combination? It's definitely not Sweden. It's not Norway. Is it Denmark? No, definitely not Denmark. Who else am I at war with? I don't know. All right, free military factories. We could use some heavy tanks. Let's go ahead and get some heavy tanks and heavy tank destroyers under construction. We're gonna need some more chromium. All right, now I actually wanna make a change to my infantry divisions. I want to edit them, and I want to add heavy tank destroyers to them. And I'll need to remove some infantry. That's fine. Do that. We now need a whole bunch of those. It's going to take a while to get them. Alright, we're sinking all kinds of submarines. Very good. It'll take 125 days to justify a war goal. Okay. I don't have any marines yet. Logistics company. Support any tank. Recon. Engineers. Signals. I don't have any artillery. Do I want to go with support artillery? That might be a better option here. Marines. Marines. We don't have any amphibious armor yet. So we'll just have to make a big division like this. There's our marines. Okay. Can we train some of them? That's the most I can train. It's better than nothing. All right. You guys... Head here. Ausrücken. Head there. Achtung. You guys. Ausrücken. Head there. Bereit. How many troops? 
We sunk eight Swedish heavy cruisers. Coastal defense ships. A light cruiser and four destroyers. Including the pride of their fleet, the flagship. The, yeah, the pride of the fleet. There we go. Can you guys say plan a naval invasion into there? How long will that be? 70 days? That's not terrible. Oh, but we can only send 10 divisions. The French border is completely unprotected, though. That's where these guys are going to go. We're going to create a whole new army group for that. Finland rejects Soviet demands. Soviet diplomats have presented an ultimatum to the government of Finland demanding border adjustments in the region of Karelia. Despite a significant buildup of Soviet forces on the border, Helsinki has rejected these demands, saying that not a single foot of Finnish soil will be given willing willingly to the Russian aggressors. International observers fear that a Soviet invasion may be imminent. And they've declared war on Finland. I don't like Finland's chances. I can invite Finland to faction. No, not a chance. I need a new destroyer hull. We need some more chromium. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Very well. If that's what you want to do. And so be it. I have some planes over here. Let's see. Send 200 planes down there. We will send 300 planes here. These other planes. Four hundred planes. Begin. Have I not called these guys to arms? Yeah, call them to arms, please. Thank you. Another Swedish light cruiser and four Swedish destroyers. What to do with Switzerland? Hmm. 
What to do with Switzerland? It's a very good question. Denmark still has not joined the war. And there's something to be said for giving it to our puppet. There's also something to be said for keeping it for ourselves. There's a whole bunch of aluminum there. A whole bunch. So I guess we'll see. But we still short. Mechanized? Well, we're working on it. Medium tanks. I think we're going to want to dump these into medium tanks. I'll need some tungsten. Yes. Because we're about to get Panzer IVs, and we're going to be switching that production, and so we're going to want that output. These look like uh, F2s. Switzerland has capitulated. Very good. And there's our Panzer IVs. And we're going to want to work on some better destroyer tech. Alright, let's get those Panzer IVs going. Alright. So Switzerland is down. We're gonna need some steel. I guess we can import that from the Soviet Union. Okay, so. It's the end of the episode. We'll probably be. Let's see if we can get an invasion of Sweden going. We'll see if Denmark gets invited to this party. Uh, if not, I may have to actually begin justifying a war goal on them directly. And then we're going to invade Scandinavia. And we're going to take Norway and Sweden. And that's actually going to give us a lot of resources and a lot of strategic assets. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.